the word tipping point is often used kind of loosely, but I think a, 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 a rigorous definition is it's a bit like uh, pulling on a, what you study at school, pulling on a spring and it snaps back elastically up to a point and then you, you, you put too big a load on it, it never goes back again. You've, you've changed the structure of the spring. And I think a tipping point in the Arctic would be where if you, if the climate, if you tried to get the climate back to where it was before, it wouldn't go back. It won't, it won't go back again to where it was before. It will go into some new system. And I think we, in a way, we've passed certain tipping points. Um, for instance, I don't think when the sea ice, summer sea ice goes completely, uh, it's not going to come back. I mean, it comes back in winter. We'll get winter growth of sea ice again, like we get in the Antarctic. We have the, the summer sea ice mostly melts, but it comes back again in winter. So we'll have winter sea ice growing again in the Arctic, but we won't have summer sea ice because the, the opening of such a large area of water absorbs a huge amount of, of heat into the ocean and that delays any freeze up the next winter and, and the ice gets, doesn't grow as thick and it breaks up again earlier. So I think you can be pretty sure that if the ice goes in the summer, it won't come back in the summer, that the summer window of open water will remain and will probably grow wider within two or three years after it's one after September is ice free, we'll be having July, August and October ice free. Uh, so we're, we're going to be seeing uh, a growth of the, the summer open water. And then that, so that's in, in itself a tipping point. Another tipping point is the fact that multi-year ice, which is the very heavy ice we, they used to dominate in the Arctic, it just won't come back because there isn't the opportunity for ice to remain more than one year in the Arctic. So we'll never again see the massive ice flows and pressure ridges that, that I, I used to uh, walk around on and sail under um, in the 70s and 80s. So that, that's a tipping point as well.